to swing the ship around now and uh, we're just heading into our docking facility, Maritima. And when you get uh, off the ship, you're going to get off and then head straight towards the terminal building, the uh, one with the blue and white sign there. Just behind that, you will see a people mover, one of these little trains. You pay a euro, that takes you to Piazza La Roma, and from there you will take your Vaporettos straight into the beautiful heart of Venice. Single. So the easiest way to get from the cruise terminal into uh, Venice is to take this tram that we're on. It's only a euro. It's the only down. It's the people mover. It only runs um, until 10 p.m. That's the only downside. But um, once you get to the train station, you buy like a basically a vaporetto. It's like a uh, bus ticket. They're the buses. They're like the water taxis that take you all over Venice. And you can buy a 24 hour pass for 20 euros and use that to go up and down the Grand Canal. And that's probably going to be your easiest and most affordable way to get around Venice for 24 hours. So. that right there so that right there is basically your uh, water tax not water taxi that is like the city bus of Venice that's what I'm trying to say it's the city bus of Venice and those are all of our fellow uh, cruise ship passengers coming back to the boat so when you're in Venice you don't have cars you don't have uh, there is no cars inside the city of Venice. You don't have cars, you don't have anything. You have boats. You have, like, we saw an ambulance today, it was a boat. We saw uh, three police or four officers. police officers, they were in boats. Everything's in boats. And the city buses are basically those little boats. So if you're coming here on a cruise ship, which probably most of the people watching this video are, if I can find a little focus here, when you exit the, the cruise ship, uh, right over here on the port like right where this boat is going to dock there's a booth there and you 
buy a ticket. You can buy a ticket, and it's basically 20 euros for a 24 hour pass, and that gets you unlimited bus rides. bus rides, and you can even take those bus rides out to some of the islands, like uh, what's the glass island? Murano. Murano, which is really popular, and where, the silk one and where they the make lace. all the glass, and then there's another one where they make silk and lace. So then, Murano. Murano is the silk one. So when you get in, you get off the boat. You can take the people mover, which the the boat says the, the people tram. mover. There's the tram. It's a dollar. It's a euro, and you can take that into town, which is fine. But I would probably suggest that you buy the uh, the 24-hour pass, or maybe even just like a 12-hour pass if you're only here on a cruise for 12 hours for the day. We're doing an overnight, so we have like a day and a half. But we didn't buy ours until later in the day, so we should be good. You buy that, and you can get all around town. And uh, that's probably your best bet. And when you get, when you buy that ticket, make sure you pick up a map. And the map that they give you is really kind of crappy. I would suggest that when you get off the boat there, and it drops you off in, uh, where does it drop you off? Plaza Roma. So it drops you off there. And when you get off there, I think my suggestion would be, there's vendors everywhere, buy, like spend two or three euros and buy a good map. Buy a good city map, because the maps that they give you are shit. So anyways, that's my tip and I'm going to throw in some video after this long dragged out video about my uh, buses. Uh, I'm going to just throw out some video of us and our experience going up and down the Grand Canal and our uh, today in Venice. So it was a lot of fun.